Hello. Hello. I can't see anybody from these lights, but I'm sensing you're out there. <laughs> I'm sensing the mood. The vibes are good. Well, welcome everybody to our panel. My name is Rachel. I'm the organizer of IoT Village, and uh, we put together a little panel on threat landscapes, AI, chat GPT, all that jazz. So I'm going to let the panelists introduce themselves real quick, and then we'll jump into the questions. Go for it. All right. Hello, I'm Steve McGregory. I'm the director of cybersecurity R&D at Keysight. We build uh, products that help uh, people test their network security, their devices for uh, make assessments of their devices. I've been doing security in R&D for since about 91. I spent the 90s at an inter uh, running internet service provider uh, businesses, got hacked and decided in 2000 to really spend my time doing cybersecurity. I built an intrusion prevention system at a uh, tipping point and then moved into testing. Uh, I've been doing that since, so nice to meet you. Uh, so Jamie Hardy, uh, so I product manage now uh, adversary management at Intuit. Uh, I've been from FinTech to Semiconductor, uh, uh, back to FinTech, all over the board. Um, <clears throat> And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I, I actually broke out of engineering to product management when I took over IoT security at Qualcomm. So that's a blast. And I have a lot of insights from back in the day, like about five years ago from IoT and expanding that with cloud security. So super fun space. Uh, super. You your mic's dead. If you wanna maybe try Steve's. Yeah, well, you said keep going got it can you hear me now oh shit sorry part of my french <laughs> no uh can you hello 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 oh 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 we're good now yes cool so uh again jamie hardy cool product manager into it uh uh where are we at? So I've been fintech, semiconductor, government, back to fintech, uh, branched out of engineering uh, when I took over IoT security for Qualcomm, loving everything into it now. Got lots of stories to tell, lots of fun times to have, and super pumped to be here with these guys. Uh, and super excited to partner with IoT Village because I love what you guys are doing about like bridging the gap with people who need to like outside in their daily day to day, being able to apply stuff. Love it. Hi, I'm Ted Harrington. I'm one of the partners at Independent Security Evaluators and uh, we founded and run IoT Village. Um, I wrote a book called Hackable, how to do application security right. It kind of talks about the things that we see from the front lines of ethical hacking. I think the ideas would resonate with a lot of people in this room. And I'm just here to learn from these guys and to make sure that Rachel looks good while protecting her eyes. Those are my sunglasses. I buy your book. <laughs> <laughs> First question, how should IoT companies be thinking about the intersection of AI, security, and IoT? Steve, you wanna start that one? Is this, <clears throat> is it working? Yeah. All right, uh, well, I, I think um, IoT security, uh, IoT vendors or people using IoT devices have to uh, probably be very concerned that uh, if you go back and look at something like Mirai, the botnet that took over all the IoT devices, um, they're kind of weak. So uh, I think using tools like AI, you can probably, the adversaries can very easily put together automated attack tools and go after and make Mirai look minuscule, potentially, right? So um, I think, you know, we've got to take it and, and, and build security into the product, you know, starting with our, our efforts to build IoT devices, make them more secure. Otherwise, we're just leaving ourselves even more vulnerable in the face of AI. Jamie? So, okay. Um, so many things I want to say. I guess coming back to the world of IoT, the number one thing I want to say is it's all ingrained in the hardware root of trust, right? 
and I want to keep coming back to that. But if I think about uh, Gen AI, AI, ML, all this, you know, blah, 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 that everyone talks about, like, yeah, we are using it to be smarter. I mean, hell, I use chat GPT every day to write whatever language I need. I mean, everybody does, and everybody uses that to write code every single day, right? Um, and the adversaries are using it against us just like we're using it to defense against them. And uh, it's whether it's IoT, cloud security, it doesn't matter. It's the same game. Um, and it's, it's quite frankly scary because it's creating them to be faster and they're creating malicious businesses off, you know, literally, I mean... Quite frankly, there is ad sorry. <laughs> My bad. There are adversaries out there literally uh, you know, running their books in QuickBooks, right? I mean, it's a scary it's a scary thing. So <laughs> I agree. Yeah. What I think is interesting about what you were talking about is how um, like every emerging tech, I think this is true that this some new tech comes around and we're like oh, everything's different now and it's like well no not really like the fundamental principles of how we secure systems how systems get exploited those are the same then the implementation of the tech is different and uh what you were talking about with you know makes the adversary faster makes but it also makes us faster too um one thing i think that is different about oh. just went dead we did again. Hello. It's going great. It wasn't me. Yeah. Talk about noses. Hello. Okay. Well. Oh, well, we can still can you chat. Guys hear us if we're talking without microphones. Or I can't it? see a damn person, but if you can hear us, we're happy to chat. Yes. <laughs> we should be bringing a megaphone. Yeah. Seriously. Bring it in closer. You want some real stories that we shouldn't talk about? Let's talk about that. Bring yeah. that shit closer. Under NDA. <laughs> Under the verbal NDA, you all agreed. Cool, we're there. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah, every single one's They're dead. They're all dead, dead. Yeah, this shit's dead. I heard it click. A clicking yeah, sound, and it died. died. Someone did not like how good of a point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your hair cut. They were like, that's intense. <laughs> Well, on that note, great panel. Yeah. <laughs> Good first question. We almost got through one. Almost got through one question. Somebody take a picture. You still want to move it. Yeah. Of us or of them? Cool. We can do it with us. I thought we should take a picture. Yeah, I mean, I would take a picture of them, but again, I can't see them. <laughs> There's people out there, I swear. There, there, are, there are people, there are people out there. By them, I mean Testing. you all. I can see like the first two or three rows, maybe. What if we? I see you and you and you. Like, walk around and do it. Yeah, yeah. maybe Actually, just go out cool. into the we do, hallway. Like, a walking the hall? a like. Yeah. Fuck it. Just like that. Yeah, fun. Do Let's it. do that. Hear us? Yeah. We, like put these down. Like... All right, guys, we're gonna come to you. We're just gonna get off the stage and come to you. Actually, on. Hello. Totally not. Oh. It is on. Well, first of all, thank you guys for <laughs> just going with the flow on that. That was very hackerish of everyone. Just just adapt. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> she's, she's giving I was letting you roll with it. I was oh, like, okay. this, this is my nap time. Here we go. <laughs> Relax it now. Another question going. Yeah, yeah. that was another question for us. That was cool. Some, someone can... Uh... Use a If you got a question, come on. Oh, and it's gone again. It's it's gone again. Is it going again? Hello. No. This works. Alright, Jamie's in charge now. Alright, I'm in charge. Who's got a question? The question you had, I didn't get to hear. The gentleman asked you, and so there was an attack surface question. Should we go that direction? I couldn't hear what you were saying. Actually. uh I didn't catch your name, but do you want to come up here and maybe expand on that? Ask the question. He's like, no. He's like, no. Definitely. Like, like, you're on stage. <laughs> maybe, perhaps, friend. No? All right. Does anyone start. have any questions yeah. they want to ask? We got like three minutes left. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is about how uh, adversaries expand on attack surface management, right? 
So we are using AI and all these tools to expand on how we expand discovery, right? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, and I, this feels like a super hot mic, uh, from like port scanning, discovery and all these things, right? Um, we can get more predictive in terms of where uh, adversaries are going, right? Every port we discover, we can tell tw like 10 more, right? Um, but how do we provide the best practices for the mid-sized small businesses that, you know, here's the thing. You got big enterprise companies like us, and we got teams of people who know what they're doing. But then you got Joe Schmo, who's got no dedicated engineers, no dedicated tools, and nobody probably in this audience whatsoever, and they should be hiring. <laughs> and, and so how do you help them? Yeah. That's my question back to you guys. I love that. That's a how do you help the small, small company? How do, how do you help the company that's got 20 to 100 employees and no dedicated security tooling and no dedicated security people you and me and you all know how we do this yeah. how do you solve that problem <laughs> all, all i'll say I, I will say is that 10 years ago i was given a uh, i was speaking at at and t uh, and and i did a stat and it it uh the recommendation was uh, uh one security uh research or a person engineer per uh 100 um employees or something like that and realistically it was nowhere ever close to that it, you know you would have uh, 100 or 200 employee and you have an it guy that also does security right one guy for that company and you have a thousand employees you may have two of those guys or something like that right that was the stats that were coming up so that's where where i'm going with this though is and my hope is that ai ml and ai are, are meant to process large amounts of, of data and do things autonomously which should help that case, right? Yeah. If you can, if you can budget tools that can help accelerate the one or two people, yeah. right? Theoretically, this is this is a good thing. Uh, and whether or not it's actually uh, being achieved right now, I mean, I can't answer. But that's, I mean, my in short is that I'm hoping AI is probably it should be an answer for this problem that we deal with with low resource yeah. you know living yeah resource. i love that like when you think about security questionnaires right who who here has to yeah. deal with those right those are fun um whether you're issuing them and then having to like comb through all the results and say is this a red flag or not or you're having to respond to tons of them to all the companies you want to do business with i think that's a great example of where ai and ml is going to significantly reduce person power because it's going to be able to say like okay we understand the types of questions here's our prepared answers it can it's going to be that is a a bright future and it's not that far away i think I we're that you so i mean <laughs> i mean all the mics jesus i mean why can't we build that into an ai chatbot that jamie we're at time oh we are all right i know what a bummer ask some questions super smart responses thank you all thank there you, you go thanks everybody sorry this was so chaotic we'll we'll hang out after outside for anyone who wants to ask questions one-on-one -on -one. Thank you.